Clem Acker here, look, and uh, I would like to welcome the Minister to the House. It's a small areas policing programme, which has been in operation in Dublin uh, for five years at this stage, has had uh, considerable success. Um, the programme connects uh, on Garda Síochána or should I say reconnects on Garda Síochána with the communities uh, that their mission statement uh, quite rightly says that they're there to serve and protect. Um, the, this programme has had enormous success in terms of reducing petty crime, uh, making people feel safe in their homes and giving people assurances that on Garda Síochána not alone know them but work to protect them. Traditionally, going back uh, over, the, over many decades, um, everybody knew their local Gardaí, whether it was urban or rural, uh, because the Gardaí lived primarily in the communities. Many uh, members of the, the force actually lived in the stations. Uh, we, were, we can remember going back over the years where there was always a guard living uh, in most Garda stations, and as that was phased out, they were living within the community. But Unfortunately, we've seen uh, that the police service has become much more upwardly mobile. Uh, people are living outside their jurisdiction and they commute to work. And that's not the fault of any member of Garda Síochána. That's just modern living. There was a time teachers lived in their parish and Garda lived in their parish and doctors lived in their parish. Uh, that doesn't happen anymore. But it's really not as essential, if you like, for teachers or uh, other um, professions to, to have as much of a knowledge of the area in which they work as Gardaí. Um, I think that this is a remarkable programme. It has had remarkable success, and we certainly read about it in a, a newspaper article recently, which very much applauded uh, the Gardaí. The Gardaí is, unfortunately, has been a much maligned organisation in recent times, but uh, under the surface, uh, they're doing remarkably good work. Um, I would like to see this programme rolled out on a national basis, uh, but starting perhaps by being piloted in each county. For example, uh, in my own county of Clare, I think it would be an excellent initiative which would empower uh, what is already a fantastic uh, Garda force in County Clare uh, uh, by giving them the task of uh, reconnecting in a very direct way uh, with uh, uh, the communities. I think it would work uh, very well if it was actually put on a formalised basis, uh, and particularly in, in cities such as uh, Limerick City, Cork, Galway and others. Uh, I think that this, I suppose, if you like, a professional approach where the, pro the programme itself is part of policing policy would enhance community policing and certainly would give uh, uh, the general public uh, a, a renewed sense of, um, I suppose, pride and engagement and um, opportunity where they would feel that uh, uh, the Gardaí certainly know them. Uh, I think you often hear it said, uh, whether rightly or wrongly, that people don't know who their Gardaí are anymore. And in spite of the best efforts of the force, uh, with extremely limited resources which have been cut to the bone, uh, they have done their best. But I think a programme like this, which is well resourced and well funded, uh, could be um, a, certainly a significant step forward uh, in terms of partnership between Angarda Shikana and our communities.